creating charts from Notion databases is not possible natively as of 2023. And in this video, we are looking at what solutions you have to create charts from Notion databases. In particular, we are looking at four tools, Graphex, Chartbase, Grid, and Coda. And these tools integrate natively within Notion and they have chart capabilities, which you can then embed on your Notion pages or keep them in the tool directly. If you want to dive deeper into the topic of creating charts and also looking at solutions using the Notion API, you can check out the link in the description that goes into detail through an article that I wrote about all the options that you have currently to create charts from Notion databases. To test these tools, we are using this sample database that I downloaded from the web. It has fake data and it is a database of customers, for example, where each entry is a person. Here we also have a formula property that joins the first name and the last name of the person, this company name, address, city, county, state, and other properties you can see of different formats. There are totally 500 entries or pages in this database. And we're going to use this one to test out these tools starting from Graphex. And Graphex is a rather advanced tool for data analytics that recently released a native integration with Notion. So you can directly connect your Notion database in Graphex to create advanced graphs. And then you can embed those graphs on Notion page easily via an embed link. So let's look into it. I'm going to create a new project here in Graphex. And you can see that they also have very advanced database integrations here. And I'm going to go and uh, choose existing integrations. I'm going to add an integration here to connect a new Notion workspace that I want to use for this test. You can see all the sources that they have natively integrated. And in this case, I'm going to select Notion. I'm going to continue and connect my workspace. And after connecting my workspace, here's what I get. The Notion, which I can rename just to make it more recognizable. And then there is the link to the database view that I want to use. And in this case, I'm going to head back to Notion, copy the URL of my database. I'm going to paste it right here. US 500 is the name of the database. Yes, indeed, that's correct. Allow write output that is only available for pro users. So I'm not going to use that. And here is the IP address if there is the need to whitelist Graphex. But in this case, we do not need that. So I'm going to save and create project. And in this case, it will take seconds to minutes to create the Graphex interface here and pull data from the Notion database. And that will depend on how many pages there are in the database. The more pages there are, the more time it takes to fetch the data and create the first charts automatically in Graphex. Whereas for smaller databases, this process is going to be faster. And here we go. After about one minute, the project is ready in Graphex. I'm going to open it. And I can see here there are 500 rows, there are 13 variables, also called properties in Notion. And that is correct because indeed there are 500 rows in my database. And I can see that essentially all the properties are kept in here and a copy of the database was created in Graphex with the same data. There's also the proper formatting of all the columns or variables as they are called in Graphex. So this looks good. And in here on the right hand side, I can also see some sneak peek of the data, for example, a histogram by county phone numbers, city, and here I can see explore, wizard, and recipe. If I click on wizard, this allows me to do a data analysis on the data that I just uploaded. As you can see here, I can use the models, tags, social media, networks. But for this use case, because I'm not an advanced data analyst, let's keep it simple and go to the plot area. And in here, I can select what kind of charts I want to create, just like that. And the first thing to do is to select the X and Y variables. For example, let's assume we want to look at the number of people per state. So the X axis is going to be state and the Y axis is the number of rows or pages in Notion that has the same state value. And for this, I'm going to do a bar chart. You can see here, you can also select more details about it. Let's do a simple one. And there you go, the bar chart was already created. I can see here, if I hover over the graph, I can see the number of pages for each state in descending order just like that. And if I click on customize, I can also customize the visualization of the graph. You can see the orientation, for example. I like this one better. And the chart size, bar spacing, title, description, footer, colors right there, annotations. And then here I can also change different calculations and also the variables in the Y axis and in the X axis as well. And in addition, if you know anything about data analytics and you have in-depth knowledge, you can do very advanced things with your Notion data in Graphex. And you can go here and see exactly the options that you have. You can also look at the scripts in your data. You can show a graph that is, let's say, one of the most unique components of Graphex as a tool. That is a network graph that shows the linking of the different pages in your Notion database. That can be extremely powerful to see patterns in your data in a second brain systems, for example, that you may store in Notion. 
and you can see correlations, you can train models, you can look at insights from your data. So if you know what you're doing, this can be extremely powerful as a tool. Let's keep it simple for this video and just look at the last step that is how you can embed your chart from Graphex into Notion and that is through the export chart feature where you can select embed then you can generate the code and you can copy to clipboard go to notion you will have a page maybe that could be called the dashboard where you just embed graphs but for this example i'm just going to open a random page in notion and using the embed block we have the graph right here on the page directly and it's also interactive and uh, if we lock the page, this will look a bit better. So if you create a page with a dashboard, then you will see you do not have the ability to stretch the view. And that is great because then you can create a fixed layout with multiple columns maybe. And then the final users can just go through the page to look at the data and get insights on what they need. That can be extremely powerful, especially if you are working a team and you want to provide insights on your Notion database data to key stakeholders or leadership people without having them to go through the weeds of all the database pages. And that was Graphx. Now let's go to the second tool that we are exploring in this video, and that is Chartbase, previously called Notion to Charts. You can see here I already created an account with Chartbase. There is one free chart on the free plan, whereas if you want to create multiple charts, you will need a paid plan. We're going to create one chart for now, always from the same data source and also here embed it. And Chartbase is much simpler than Graphx. It's not an advanced analytics tool and it's not meant to be that way, but rather it's a tool that was purposefully created to integrate natively with Notion, fetch data from your Notion databases, and then easily allow you to embed your graphs to Notion pages. So we're gonna create a chart and we'll select in this case as well, a horizontal bar chart. Next, I'm gonna select a database. Here I already gave it access to the database that I need, that is US 500, and I will select the database and select next. Here I can customize the label, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. Select the x-axis value, which is gonna be staked, and the y-axis value, which I'm gonna choose full name, and then create a chart. As you can see, this is pretty fast. Here, under settings, you can also select if you want to have a fast fetching of the data or a more accurate one, although there is a limit that is up to 500 rows. So for our database, that's okay. It just hits the limit. But for larger databases, chart base can be a bit limited. So let's do the accurate route and wait for it to fetch data. And in the interface, I will go to the y-axis and select settings. And here I will select count because we want to count the total people per state. So I'm going to select count and data type is number. And the starting point will be zero. Then we could reverse axis as well if you want to have it horizontally laid out and here you can see there is a bit more customization with the stacked layout we can sort by the variables that we are using in the graph and i can also filter the data based on specific properties which in this case are the zip code the full name or the first name and once the graph is created i can then get the embed link select live or cached which is a bit faster but it doesn't refresh as rapidly as it is explained right here so let's do live i'm going to copy this link go back to notion and in the same fashion as i showed you for graphx you can just paste this link in this case you do not need the embed block either you can just paste the url because that's a simple url and then select create embed this will create the embed you can change the size as per usual and once you're done, maybe lock the page, which makes it more clear right there. And you can also change the mode. And the next tool in the pipeline is Grid. And Grid is more of a document-based approach to creating graphs. You can sync your data from Notion exactly like you can with Chartbase and with Graphics that we already saw. And in addition, what you have in Grid is the possibility to create a more storytelling-based approach to your graphs because you start from documents similar to Notion pages that you can see here. And these documents can contain text and they can contain many other objects that you will find here. Also interactions and advanced features, which we're not gonna explore in this video because we are just focusing on creating charts with Notion. But this can be particularly powerful to tell stories with your data and interweave text with graphs and interactive elements for people to go through when looking at your charts. And the first thing that we are going to do here after creating this document, we can name it and then we can add data. We can add data from Notion. And here you can go through the flow. After connecting your Notion workspace and giving it access to the databases that you need, you can then select the database. And now Grid will load the data and create pretty much a copy of your data similar to what Graphx did before. And this is more in a spreadsheet style format. You can see here data was imported properly. And here I can already select through the helper a chart that I want to create. And let's still go with the column chart to keep it simple. On the y x axis, we will select the state. And on the y axis, we will count the 
full name. We can also filter or split by a specific variable or property. And you can see that the graph is pretty much created. And I can open more options and I can see the chart type and I can customize it as needed, as you can see right here with colors, options, annotations. And once I want to embed this document and then go to embed, copy the link, go to Notion and follow the same process that was used for graphics and for chart base. So I can just come here because that's a URL, I can paste it and I will select paste as preview. In this case, you can see that grid is natively connected with Notion. It has a native integration. And that is why when you paste the link, it has a different feeling. You can do paste preview and you can connect your grid account. And this will allow you to display a preview of your grid document on a Notion page. And you can click on view original to go to the main document in grid itself. Now let's get to the final solution and that is Coda. And the way you can integrate Notion and Coda to create charts is by using the Notion pack in Coda. That is a pack that allows you to pull data from your Notion databases and it creates automatically a native table in Coda, pulling data from your Notion database. And for some properties, you also have the ability to have two-way sync so that you can change the data in your Coda tables and that will be reflected in your Notion database. And Coda then has the ability to create charts. You can see them with slash command, for example, bar chart right there, or pie charts, etc. And by having a native Coda table that you can use to create those charts, the data is much more manipulable compared to if it was stored just in Notion because it allows you to create additional columns in the Coda table to do calculations that you want to have, for example, without having to add those columns to the Notion database, but only to the Coda instance of that database. So this can be powerful because, for example, if you're using Notion with your team, you may not want to expose everyone to maybe backend properties that you want to use for data analytics purposes, which could be advanced formulas or checkboxes. Whereas if you sync the data in Coda, then you can keep those things only in your Coda doc. And here we are going to do slash Notion. And you can see that I can import data from Notion. I can use a pack and I can see a list of buttons as part of that pack. And in this case, I'm going to do Notion the pack. If you haven't already installed it in your Coda workspace, then you will see the workflow to do that. Otherwise, you will see all the building blocks of your Notion pack in Coda. And once your account is connected, you can then use the database table that you can see is a two-way sync and we can click on it. And if you have given access to your target database during the connection cycle, then you will find that database here. You can see it is fetching all the databases that it has access to. And after a few seconds, your databases will be available here for your choice. And once you find the database, you can drag and drop it simply on the Coda page, wait for it to load data. Then you can see there is this menu that is for the sync table that is created through the pack. Name is US 500. You can sync it now. You can go to these options and look at how you can refresh data in this database. It can be manually, it can be daily, or it can be hourly if you are on the team plan. And you can also activate two-way sync or not. If you activate two-way sync, that means that some columns are going to be editable in Coda and that edit will be reflected to Notion once the user that makes the edit actually approves it. So there is a second approval process to make sure that no edits are made randomly. Then if you go to advanced, you can see what's the limit of how many rows you want to load into the Coda table. And the maximum limit is 10,000 rows. And then we can sync now for the first time. And once you click that button, all the data is going to be fetched and then displayed in the Coda table. And you can see here that all the columns are in the same format as in Notion. So if you look at email, that's an email column in Coda. Zip is a number column. And you can see right here that they are properly formatted data. And if you go to columns, you can then customize this table as you would with any Coda table. So you have all the access that you need to the different columns. You can hide them, show them, and go to table options and see filters, sorting, and any rules that you can apply in any Coda table. So that is a sync table that is rich with Coda data. Let's go wide. And to create a graph from this table, which maybe we can just collapse for now, I'm gonna do a slash bar chart. And in here, I'm gonna select the source of my data. In this case, it is going to be US 500. The chart type is bar. The horizontal axis will contain the state, which is data that we used throughout the video. And the Y axis or the values are gonna be page count. Count the number of pages by state. We can aggregate values. We can segment if we want. We can change the color of the graph right there. The orientation, horizontal or vertical and other customizations right there. You can then go here and see the chart display, which is the menu that we wear right now. You can filter data, you can sort data. And once you do that, you can have then a graph that is automatically synced with your Notion data through a Coda sync table. And if you want, you can then collapse this as well. 
and create a dashboard in your Coda doc composed of native charts that are automatically synced with your Notion data. And that really concludes the main possibilities that you have as of December 2023 to create graphs or visual representation of data from your Notion databases without using the Notion API yourself, but using tools that integrate natively with Notion. There are also other advanced solutions that you can find in the link in the description. For any feedback or questions, you can leave a comment below. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.